This week, we try to tell you everything that happened at Star Wars Celebration Europe in under 10 minutes. It's a trap. Contrary to what I just said, it's impossible to fit all the amazing announcements and excitement of Star Wars Celebration Europe 2023 into the span of this show. So instead, a few of our favorite news bits and highlights. At the Lucasfilm Showcase, Ray returned when Daisy Ridley made a surprise appearance amid the announcement of three forthcoming films, including one set 15 years after the sequel era. A Wookiee Jedi walked the acolyte creator Leslie Headland out to talk about the upcoming series set in the High Republic, starring Amanda Stenberg, who came to her own panel in a fantastic Padme cosplay. And we met the kids of the Skeleton Crew. We celebrated The Mandalorian ahead of the season three finale next week and looked back at Andor season one, now in production on the second season. And although we got the first Ahsoka poster, which arrives this August, and a trailer on day one, it wasn't until the Ahsoka panel that we learned that Lars Mikkelsen will return as Grand Admiral Thrawn. And we got our first look at Mary Elizabeth Winston as Harrison Dula and Natasha Lou Bordizzo in full Sabine. Ahsoka wasn't the only trailer. At the Star Wars Visions panel, we got a new trailer for the upcoming Volume 2 that will feature nine new shorts from the nine celebrated animation studios from across the globe. We got a tease for the Bad Batch Season 3, Rip Tech, and a new season of Tales of the Jedi was announced. And that's just the news from a few of the panels, which also included enticing title reveals from Star Wars, The High Republic, Phase 3, and so much more. Things really heated up at the Star Wars Celebration live stage when Star Wars Jedi Survivors, game director Stig Asmussen, and Cal Kestis himself, Cameron Monaghan, took the stage for a new trailer. Check out the game when it arrives in just about two weeks. And if you watched the stream, you saw the star-studded guest who took this very stage for heartfelt interviews, floor-shaking ovations, and other surprises, like an entire room of fans greeting Andy Serkis with a chant of, one way out. Of course, one of our favorite parts wasn't any of that. The best thing about Star Wars Celebration is getting the Star Wars family together and seeing your beautiful cosplays and smiling faces as we all share in our excitement for the galaxy we all love. That's it for this week. As you can see, they're turning out the lights. But for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. But